Hello y'all, welcome into Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah presents me, Deborah, with uh, Tuesday Reviews and a continuation of the Snacks Around the World series. And if you saw the thumbnail, you might know where in the world we are today. I'm gonna try Vegemite, y'all. It's from Australia. I haven't even opened this yet. Uh, my toast is in the toaster, but toasted the breads in the toaster toasting it's if you, it's already toast you wouldn't put it in the toaster yeah um so i'm going to pause it and when i get that nice hot toast i'll pop this open spread some on and see what i find okay pausing Alrighty, i'm back the bread lightly toasted got a knife Let's open this jar of very polarizing substance. Got the, the seal still on it. Come on. Looks smooth. And, and yes, Vegemite is very polarizing. People either, either love it or they think it's the most vile stuff that ever hit the face of the earth. So I'm going to try some. Apparently it's loaded up with B vitamin stuff and... It's a yeast extract. It's supposed to be really good for you. I can't place the smell. All right, let's put it on the toast before the toast gets cold. And yeah, I'm gonna put a little more than that because if I'm gonna taste it, I'm gonna taste it. What is the serving size of this stuff? Does it even say? Nutrition information per 100 grams. Well, I'm not going to eat 100 grams of the stuff. Oh, per portion, 5 grams. Okay. So 5 grams is about a 40th of this because that's a 200 gram jar. So let's see if I can get a little bit more. No, I'm not going to weigh this nonsense out. Let's be real. It looks <laughs> suspiciously like Nutella. It ain't Nutella, I can tell you that by the scent. And now that it's getting warm from the, uh, you know, the, the toast. There we go, see? Looks kind of like Nutella, right? Doesn't smell like Nutella. That's so odd. All right, here we go. Oh, that's salty. I mean, like, whoa. And I'm a girl who likes some salt, but mmm. That's the first thing that I'm hit with is just salt. And not like the salt you would put on a pretzel. Like an underlying processed food kind of salt, but like too much. I'll have to look up ways to eat this that may not just be on toast. With that extreme saltiness, maybe with something a little bit sweet might be better. I don't know if it'd be good on an apple. People eat sandwiches of this? Or at least that's what they say in that Men at Work song. I don't know. Never been to Australia. Never really been anywhere. Except their food. It's not bad. It's just different. It's like you, your mouth doesn't quite know what to do with it. Hmm. Got about half the piece of toast done now. I mean, I'm not chucking it across the room. I don't know if it's something that I would just go for, you know, hey, I want some Vegemite. Although I've had weird food cravings before in life. Oscar, you're not going to like Vegemite. Really? For anybody who's watched any of my videos before, Oscar is my teeny little boy cat. And by teeny, I mean 18 pounds. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's get... A little bit of Vegemite on that knife. Close that jar up before I drop it and do something stupid. Put
put it on my finger. Not for me, for the cat boy. And I'm gonna pick him up. Hang on. Oscar, what do you think? Well, he likes it. Holy crap. He likes it a lot. He's grunting and purring. Is that good? Is that good, sweet boy? <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, if we don't want to eat it, we know who will. <laughs> no munch. There's no more for you. Uh-uh. Not right now. <laughs> There you have it. It is definitely Oscar approved. Fat chick approved? Maybe. Maybe you just have to be in the right mood for it. It's not something I would reach for. Just out of, hey, let, let's have some Vegemite. But if somebody offered me a Vegemite sandwich, as it were, I'd probably go, yeah, okay. What do you eat it with? Tell me, if, if, you've, if you're Australian or you've been to Australia or you're just a Vegemite fan, how do you normally eat this stuff? I mean, it's supposed to be pretty good for you. So I think it's got to have a lot of salt in there. Actually, not really. It just, why does it taste so salty? I don't understand. Um, but yeah, yeast extract and some extra vitamins. And that's it. It'll do in a pinch. Not my favorite snack, but I wouldn't check it out the window. But Oscar, on the other hand, oh, it is definitely kitty approved. Why? Why? <laughs> Thanks for coming by, y'all. I'll have the link to the playlist of snacks around the world down below, as well as a bunch of other information. Always check out the description box of your favorite YouTubers videos or even your not so favorite YouTubers. You never know what you're going to find down there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I will see you next time. Bye y'all.